and here we go. Hi, this is Marco from Huawei Blog. Last weekend, Huawei has released the beta of the new EMUI 14 firmware. Most important fact for many of you, EMUI 14 allows you to use nearly all of the Google mobile services and apps by using MicroG, an open source alternative for the Google Play services. MicroG allows you to use apps which normally needs to needs Google Play services to run probably on your phone. The installation takes just a few moments and can be done by everyone. You don't need to have any technical knowledge. This guide will keep you step by step through the installation process of MicroG with EMUI 14 installed on your phone. Show you how to set up your Google account and then Use the Google Apps as usual. Uh, one note in advance, unfortunately, Android Auto and Google Wallet, Google Pay currently cannot be used with this method. So let's start. Okay, let's start with the installation guide. We use our Huawei P60 Pro sample device with a new EMUI 14 beta firmware. I did a factory reset uh, with the device. It's also possible to do the installation without a factory reset. But to avoid possible problems, it's better to do the installation right after such a reset. The installation takes four simple steps and one optional step for the Google Contacts SIM. So let's start with step one, the Huawei browser. But before starting the app, we have to set it up. So we go to setting apps and services apps and look for the Huawei browser app. In the app info, we grant all permission. It's important you also allow the option write system settings. So set it to yes. Next, we check if the Huawei browser is set up as standard browser app. So if you do a factory reset right before, it should be set as standard. Already, if you use a different browser as standard, change to Huawei browser for the installation. Finally, we have to allow the Huawei browser to install apps. So go to settings, security, more settings, install apps from external resources and allow the browser to do so. So set it to allow. Step one completed. Let's go on with step two. Download and installation of MicroG services. Start now the Huawei browser app and go to microg.org in the download section. The the latest version is uh, now from March the 28th. You have to check manually for future updates every few weeks or better few months because it's not so frequently. You will find several download options from the three downloads with the symbols only choose services framework proxy 
Very important, download and directly install all apps by Huawei browser. So, download services framework proxy, confirm download and directly install the service. Next, go down to alternative downloads. Here, we'll, here you will find com.google.android.gms with the ending HW. These are the micro C services modified for Huawei devices. We do the same as before, downloading and directly install in the Huawei browser app. And the same again with com.android.wending. This is a Micro Z companion app modified for Huawei devices. Go to download, confirm the download, and install the app. To check if the installation was working with signature spoofing is successful, there should be no app logo of the installed MicroG apps shown on your home screen. Is there any app symbol showing something went wrong? You have to repeat all the steps. So next step number three, configuration of MicroG. Go to Settings, Apps and Services, Apps, and search for Micro G Services. Now, if you go to Micro G Services, grant all permissions. For location, you have to choose all the time. Also check more permissions and allow nearby services. And also set the option draw over other, other apps to yes. Now go to open by default and choose unverified links. Go to the plus sign and add app Google Google and confirm. Now the entry changed from none to one. Before we add our Google account, we check the correct settings of the MicroG services app in the MicroG settings. Choose self-check and make sure all options are selected. This should be by default. If not, there is a problem and you should try to select manually. If this don't work, you have to start again. Now we can add our Google account. If you want to use more than one account on your phone, you have to add them now. It is not possible to add another account later. Now you can add your account. If you use two-factor authentication, it's not a problem. The process is the same as usual. Now we have added our Google account successfully. Leave the options below as set up by default. Next step to configure the MicroG services. Go to Settings, Apps and Services, Apps, the four dots in the upper right corner and choose Special Access. Choose Unrestricted Data Access. Now search for MicroG and you see the companion app, the services and the services framework proxy activate data access for all of them. Next in settings, apps and services, we choose launch manager. Search for MicroG again 
And now deactivate manage automatically and in the pop-up menu for manage manually all three options auto launch, secondary launch and run in background has to be activated. Last step for setting up micro G services. We start the Huawei browser again and go to the Google homepage. We sign in to our Google account, the main account if you choose more than or if you have uh, entered more than one account. If you will use another browser, you have to do this login with so this browser also. If you browse and choose an app download, it should be open in the Aurora App Store later by using your phone. And so here we are, step four with the Aurora Store. As we can't use the official Google Play Store app, we use instead the Aurora App Store as an app client to get the apps from the Google Store database. You can find the download uh, link for Aurora in the video description below. On the website, choose download and install. So before you start the Aurora app, the first time we have to do some configurations, some setup. So we go to settings, apps and services, apps, Aurora store and allow permissions for media and files. For Aurora to install apps on your device, we have to go to settings, security, more settings and install apps from external sources. We do the same as before with the Huawei browser, we allow Aurora to install apps. And that's it for the pre-configuration. So start the Aurora app and follow the setup assistant. For installation method, leave the standard setup method session installer. You can configure the look of the app later. Add app links, choose activate for play.google.com and you will be redirected to the Aurora settings again. Go to unverified links plus sign to add and activate play.google.com and market.android.com. You can also choose Amazon as an option so app links referring to the Amazon App Store will also be opened by Aurora. So now go back to Aurora setup where the app links are activated now. Allow all permissions if not already enabled to do so. When the option for battery optimization pops up, deactivate it so that Aurora can run and install apps as background activity. And that's it. Now you can log into your Google account. After you have logged in with your Google account, first go to the menu update in the upper, no, in the down right corner. You will find an app update for Google Play services. Because we use Micro G and not the official Play services, we have to deactivate apps, updates for this app. Hold the entry and in the pop-up menu choose add to blacklist. So no updates will be shown and done anymore. After refresh you see the update will not shown anymore. Before you do any updates or downloads, we need to install the Android system web view first. If you are a registered beta user, you can also choose this version.
Next, the Trichrome Library app will shown up and not the Android System Web View. Trichrome Library is a necessary library database to show you web content on your phone. It is used by WebView and also the Chrome browser. So each time you update System WebView or Chrome, there will be probably also an update for the Trichrome library before. After installing the Trichrome library, we can install the System WebView now. But before starting, we go to settings, apps and services and launch manager. Search for the Android system web view and also deactivate manage automatically and choose all options at manage manually. Also, you can choose Aurora to start and run as background services if you want to be notified about any updates. Finally, we lock the settings by swiping down in the task manager. The lock symbol is shown. Now you can use Aurora for downloading all your apps you want. I choose uh, Google Maps and YouTube to show you that we are logged in with our Google account with all the personal settings. Also in YouTube you can see I get the notifications for my subscriptions and important YouTube runs without stopping or freezing after a while. This problem uh, we had with EMUI 13.1 with a P60 Pro seems to be completely solved with EMUI 14. Last but not least, if you want to synchronize your Google contacts, step five. You need to install the Google contacts sync service. You find the download below in the video descriptions. After installation, you have to go to settings, apps and services, search the contact sync app. and grant the permission to access your contact data. That's it. If you start the Google Context app, you see the synchronization service is deactivated. To activate the synchronization, go to settings, users and accounts, Google, and activate the sync contacts option in your Google accounts you want to be synced. And as you see, all contacts will be synchronized from now on and will be shown in your contacts app. You can also use your Huawei contacts app. Just choose your Google account in the account settings and that's it. So we're done. In less than 20 minutes, we installed the Google mobile services on our Huawei device with EMUI 14. Enjoy it. EMUI 14 brings back what many Huawei fans have been waiting for, for a long time. The use of the Google apps uh, is possible again I've been using Micro-G on the Mate X3 for a week now and I haven't noticed any problems 
um, except for Android Auto and uh, Google Wallet or GPay, which still won't work. But it's fine, it's great. If you have any questions uh, or comments about the installation, leave your comment or join the discussion in our huge Facebook uh, Huawei community. Um, that's it. Enjoy uh, Google Mobile Services on your Huawei with EMUI 14. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Marco from Huawei Blog.